they wanted to do something life-giving to honor uh, honor Chloe's memory. Her, her picture is right over here behind the screen. You, you can see in just a minute. Uh, we're going to uh, unveil it in just a second. But as we prayed about what we could do, we wanted to make a special place to let children know that they're important to us, um, a place where they can sit and, and relax and have fun and read. And many of you have bought books uh, to go with this as well. And so this is part of all of us as we honor Chloe's ministry and honor the ministry to children in this church. So I'll let our children's director, Ashley, say a few more things. Excellent. Thank you all so much for how generous you were at donating books. It's been really exciting. I feel like it's been Christmas time in my office seeing stuff come in and um, getting to picture what the kids are going to think about this house. I have to say, I am so incredibly excited for it. Um, this is, as Carolyn talked about, something that we want to be a place where kids can come and read, that they can learn about Jesus, that this is a welcoming place. Um, I was talking to the principal of Jubilee about this last week, the week before, and inviting her to bring Jubilee students in here as well, Kingdom Kids and Fired Up Friday families. We want them to come whenever they are in the building to come and sit and enjoy this space. And it has been something that I've been talking with Cinda throughout the whole project. Um, when it is unveiled, you're going to see that there are some jungle animals in there. Um, we found out that one of Chloe's favorite things was jungle animals. So that's why the room is decorated with jungle animals right now. Um, there's going to be stuffed animals. We don't have it up yet, but there's going to be a jungle wallpaper going in there that is super cute. But we really wanted to honor the memory of Chloe. We wanted this to be a special place where she could forevermore be remembered and in a way that was going to bless the kids, not only of our church, but also of our community. So Cinda and the Eisler family, thank you for allowing us to do this. This was such a special project and I really, I think the kids are going to love it. So, and all of you that once again have donated, um, we're so thankful for that. So we're going to pray over the house right now that God would be working through it. So if you could please close your eyes and join us in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you so much that you are a God that loves us more than we could ever imagine, and that you are a God that is in control of every single part of life, um, whether it is the happy, amazing times or the times where we hit rock bottom and it seems like there is no up. Lord, I thank you that you are a God that is our foundation, that you are a God that is with us when we are broken, when we need comforted, and Lord, that you are a God that can put pieces back together that seem um, repaired beyond a belief. Lord, I pray right now, especially for the Eisler family, that you would have their arms, your arms around them, that they would know how loved they are and especially how loved Chloe is, not only by this community, but by you. Lord, I pray that um, you would truly let your spirit be in this place, not only this church, but especially in this library, that Chloe's Corner would be a place where kids could meet with you, that they could cuddle up with a good book, but Lord, that they could grow in their faith and their knowledge of you, that they would know not only that Chloe is loved by you, but that they are loved by you. Let this be a place for years to come, for children to be welcomed in. Lord, we love you so much, and thank you. Thank you for all of your blessings. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so ready to see it? We're going to unveil it. So, okay. We're going to take these over to the side. It is a house that the kids are going to be able to go into. So I'm going to hand it over to Cinda now. Huge thank you to Jeff uh, Fry who put it together, built it in his garage and then assembled it here. And also to Jonathan and Ashley and so many other people that helped do it. And Pastor Cindy was able to do some of the painting herself. So I'm going to invite you up and you get to cut the ribbon and say a few things. 
So today, obviously, is a day of a lot of emotions. So um, Chloe's parents called this morning to say, to be sure to thank you. They live in Brooklyn, New York. They said, be sure to tell your church family how very, very grateful we are that you have done this for our Chloe. So, and Scott and Brian and I say the same thing. We're overwhelmed by the amount of people who helped with this project. It's kind of blown us away. So thank you very much. And I guess just one last thing is, I'm just so grateful to know that Chloe is with Jesus, who said, let the children come to me. Children of all ages come to me. And that she's safe within his care until we see her again. That's his promise for all of us. So thank you so much on behalf of all of our family. Kids, you're welcome to come over and check it out. All of you, please uh, enjoy cookies and time together.